Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bashim Rakhakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone over well. I am not a member, however, I've entered into their labors. Peace and blessings to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. Um, I have a, a interesting topic here today. I mean, nothing new. The same old boogeyman that they've been trying to talk about or trying to push on folks for some time now. And uh, we see we clearly need to take action. Okay. Um, we'll click on a couple of these. This is my first time on the page, so we'll play this. I don't know what this is, but it says to net zero. So it's all about a carbon emission. Um, we also have, I went ahead and Googled what the upcoming food shortages are or will be for this year. And, um, also what, uh, Klaus Schwab terms as the year of a poly crisis. So all of these things are going on. And before we go anywhere, um, I pulled up the word trust in the search bar of the blue letter bible um because i needed to read on that yesterday so i'm going to go to the one that stood out to me the most um because oh not only that we got blackouts that are on the way there's so many different things that are going to happen here pretty soon and we cannot forget who we serve we cannot forget who we belong to we cannot forget that he has uh, if you were given this understanding that you know that you have to believe that you're going to be protected, you have to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and that is a hard fight, especially it's easy to say things, you know, when you're doing videos, or it's easy to speak on it when things aren't happening, um, but it's very imperative that you, or not very imperative, it's a, <laughs> it is imperative that you um, understand what's coming down the pipe and that it's time for all of us to put our money where our mouth is. So Second Samuel two and three, the God of my rock, in him I will trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior. Thou savest me from violence. Now, um, a lot of people are going to be experiencing quite the uh, uh, quite the hellacious time. And, you know, some of us may or may not go through certain things. Who knows? No one knows your walk. But uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah themselves, they know what we need. They know what's about to happen. And they know um, what we will need in whatever moment that comes, that comes across. Our job is just to stay faithful, keep believing. Okay, it's no sound. All right, let's pause that. So it seems. What do we have in these pictures? All right, so no in industrial things or recycling, trading the gas for electric, ride your bike, you know, and all of it seems great and wonderful, you know, but uh, through peace and safety. He's going to destroy many. And this is something that the whole entire world has to get on, right? Well, and what do we know about the whole world? What about the cause of all? So somehow, some way, you know, if everybody get on this, we you, you understand where this leads to, what this is linking to. All right, so put simply, nearly means cutting greenhouse gas emissions as close to zero as possible with any remaining emissions reabsorbed from the atmosphere by oceans and the forest, for instance. So this this drastic and, and, and this grandiose, grandiose plan to uh, save the earth that they screwed up, but it has nothing to do with saving anything. And that's what people need to understand. And a lot of people are going to get behind this. They're going to, they are going to sign off on their own oppression and destruction. Uh, and that's that spirit of confusion that the Lord has put on them. Uh, you know what? Let's let's get let's see what greenhouse gas emissions are. Because you hear that a lot. Let 
main greenhouse gas concentrated in rock carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. Let's see, hydrochlorofluorocarbons, hydrofluorocarbons, and ozone. All right, let's see. A greenhouse gas is a gas that absorbs and emits radiant injury, uh, energy within thermal infrared range, causing greenhouse effect. The primary greenhouse gas in Earth's atmosphere are water, vapor, carbon dioxide, methane. So things that just are already there, huh? Let's see. Solar radiation passes through the clear atmosphere. Okay. Some solar radiation reflected by the Earth. Passed through the atmosphere and some absorbed and re-emitted in all molecules. Infrared radiation is emitted from the Earth's surface. Okay, so you get the gist. And I'm pretty sure a lot of these things are also... Okay, so we got that. Let's go back to our original... And you see them, the main one was carbon dioxide, the thing that you exhale and that trees take and turn into oxygen. And, and you know, it's a, the perfect cycle that the Lord put on this earth because this devil wants to create his own little perfect kingdom that is going to come crashing down. All right. So the science shows and, and always be weary when they say that. All right. To avert the worst impacts of sea change. And the only way to really preserve a livable planet is to get rid of a uh, you-know-who rhymes with me-dum, <laughs> shmee-shaw. Yo ass got to go. Let's see. They got the global effort. Okay, so how do we ensure commitments are turned into, <clears throat> turned into action? The growth in net zero pledge has been accompanied by a proliferation criteria with varying levels of robustness. A bunch of words, a bunch of jibber jabber. No, I bet they don't actually answer a question. This is that that talking in circles that they do to develop a stronger and clearer standard for net zero emission pledge by non-state entities such as businesses, investors, cities, and regions. Okay, so squeeze the money. Uh, hit the pockets of these businesses and the people will comply because they need the things that are coming out of the businesses or whatever it is they're investing into. Um, of course, people live in cities. Speed up their implementation. All right. UN Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez, uh, March 22, established a high-level expert group whatever that means, um, on the net zero emission commitment, non-state entities, okay. So let's get one more before we continue to read. Well, we just go, I just really want to harp on trust, not only for whoever's listening to this, but for myself too. You know, we are human, we are in the flesh, and um, we can fall victim to certain things, but you need to get up. If you fall, get up. 2 Samuel 22 and 31, as for Yahweh, his way is perfect. And remember that because these things have to come to pass. Whatever is going to happen has to come to pass and the Lord's way is perfect. Remember this. The word of Yahweh is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. So whatever turmoil uh, is coming down the pipe, he allowed it because this was according to prophecy. And we are supposed to trust that we will be kept. And I am harping on it because I want to, conv not convince, but I want to uh, hammer it into myself and through the spirit and probably how will bless me, I will shy. I pray and I beg that this is, uh, you know, that what I read pierces my heart and it pierces yours and it, it sticks. You hold on to it. You walk with it. You run with it. Whatever it is you need to do. Let's see. Oh, this is Job. Oh, but what I do want, uh, trusting in Egypt, trusting in Egypt. I need to find that. I know that's in here somewhere. Or Pharaoh. That's one I want. Neither is coming to trust in the Lord. Surely deliver us. Boom. 
boom, Second Kings. That's what we're looking for. Second Kings 18 and 21. Uh, because uh, you, you're going to be tempted. All of us are going to be tempted to trust in this devil, to trust in Egypt, to um, quote unquote comply with whatever this devil offers you and you think that he's going to hold up his end of the bar. He's never kept a treaty in his life. He ain't kept a treaty with our Northern Kingdom brothers. He don't even keep a treaty with his own brothers in other na uh, the other Edomite nations. All right, so 2 Kings 18 and 21. Now behold, thou trustest upon the staff of, of this bruised reed, even upon Egypt, on which if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh, king of Egypt, unto all that trust in him. And modern day Pharaoh, all right, modern day Egypt is right here. Where are we at? Okay. All right, so we got that. And I, I did, I wanted to pull this up and show, um, <laughs> show some folks this because I found this theory very fitting for what's going on right now. Because, again, a lot of people are going to jump on board with this, but also there are a great amount of people that won't jump on board with it. So let's play this. Hopefully it's not In too long. chapter of German history, during a time when incited mobs threw stones into the windows of innocent shop owners, and women and children were cruelly humiliated in the open, Dietrich von Mueller, a young pastor, began to speak publicly against the atrocities that the regime had produced. After years of trying to cheat... Okay, that's a whole, uh, long-ass video. But basically... Oh, I, did I just click that? I did. Well, basically, the, the gist is that evil people don't have power without stupid people. Here we go. Okay, stupidity is a more dangerous enemy of the good than evil, <clears throat> wrote Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Um, so basically, yeah, like I said, stupid people are going to sign off and agree with and fight for their own oppression and that also goes for the two-thirds of uh, uh, of israel so your family or who you know your friends are going to label you a believer the believers they're going to label you and sign off on whatever evil that is to be committed against us or how or whatever slander or anything like that um just remember, one, the spirit of the Lord is on them to be blind. And just think about that, uh, this theory, which is really not a theory because it, it lines up perfectly, that stupid people are weapons. Baby, you can put it that way. Stupid people are weapons of, uh, of Esau, Edom, basically, because they are the wicked, according to Malachi. All right, so let's cut. Let's go over some of these shortages that we're about to see as well. So you got your whole sea change and your food shortage and the crisis and the multiple hurricanes that are hitting California and a lot of food comes out of California. Don't don't forget about that. So we're gonna see some very very interesting things coming down the pipe. All right, and I did make mention. Okay, well, we did make mention of that, so let's get this really quick. Um, but for good measure, we'll, we'll start at two. I have loved you, saith Yahweh, yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith Yahweh, yet I loved Jacob. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and heritage to waste for the dragons of the wilderness. All right, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places, thus saith Yahweh of hosts. Then shall build, they, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom Yahweh hath indignation with forever. So off the rip, this whole little plan is going to get close, but, it, you know, close, but no cigar. But that doesn't mean things aren't going to get crazy. Things aren't going to get rough, that we are not going to lose certain freedoms that we know that you that you're used to having. All right, so let's see. Of course, we know beef. 
because they want you to eat bugs and 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 and, and beyond beef and beyond all this other stuff okay and this is also to on champagne so you know for if, if it's champagne it's gonna be other things too and you know people want to drown their sorrows and the word talks about giving strong drink to a man that's about to die but in this case you know you want to give strong make drunk drink to a man that is has lost <laughs> is going to lose everything that's going and i'm talking about the average uh, american the average babylonian who doesn't go any amount of time without giving in himself anything that he wants right they are going to be looking to drown themselves in whatever they can lettuce oh, of course canned foods because you they, they need you to be wholly and solely dependent on them as for beer make it a double carbon dioxide the ingredient credit credited with giving you bruises but has faced its own shortages in the past year huh sunflower oil palm oil which you really shouldn't be eating anyway bread and wheat which i mean they're i was just about to say they're blaming ukraine like um ukraine is the only place that you can get these things i mean i refuse to believe it if these people are talking they're lying um some places feed their cattle feed their livestock livestock with certain things that are made with corn uh let's see but corn is a big big thing all right we're looking according to Reuters, u.s part has released a preliminary forecast which shows the increase in planting of both corn and wheat <clears throat> If all goes plan, corn should bounce back. Hmm. Oranges and orange juice, so your fruits and things of that nature. Just look for things to get tight. Right? Just look for things to get tight. Um, and I just wanted to go over certain things like that really quick. So you know. So you're made aware. And let's see. We'll end it on one of my favorites one of my favorite scriptures because it's so fitting for where we're about to be headed okay so this is james the first chapter um the point is five i want to see but we'll start with two uh, my brethren count it all joy when ye fall in diverse, into diverse temptations knowing this that they try that the trying of your faith work is patience but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. And if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of Yahweh that giveth to all men liberally, and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like the wave of the sea, driven in the wind and tossed. So as you can see, the going thing here is to, you'll get what you ask, but you have to ask in faith. All right. So while we have spent time, uh, while everyone else has spent time living in pleasure, we have been living a life of denial. So the tables are about to turn very quickly. Don't lose hope. Um, whatever you need to do to get yourself back into uh, that, that fire that you had, you know, pray to the Lord for that spirit um, and, and go back to the things that you used to do uh, when you first woke up to being in the truth. Because right now we don't, we cannot be. Uh, uh, lukewarm or we cannot be have any sort of wavering going on right now it's way too late in the game and you know of course i say it before i say it again i preach to self so with that being said shalom